Pulse Weather, brought to you by locally owned and operated Leon's Furniture Superstore. National buying power and selection from Brennan's largest furniture store. Good evening, everyone. Well, we didn't quite get as high as forecast. Today, forecast high 29, and this is the high today, 19. <laughs> the wind is so southeast at 9, and the humidity right now, 86%. Forecasting the upper 20s for tomorrow, and I can possibly see that happening, but then it's going to cool down dramatically. Let's take a look at the surface map. I'll show you what's going on. Stationary front, as you can see, to the south end, South Dakota, some clouds spreading up into southern Manitoba. That cloud did not break up this afternoon. As a result, uh, it uh, sort of acted like a blanket, kept the uh, radiant heat out, and as a result, 19, 20, 21 degrees the high, with one slight exception. Regina topped out at 32, and I'll show you why on uh, our map for tomorrow. Here's the open warm sector, and uh, Regina topped out at 32, and we will get into that open warm sector tomorrow just for a brief period, but then it's going to start to slide off to the southeast and dissipate as the uh, front will actually close up like a zipper, occlude out of our area. As a result, you will see uh, temperatures cool down as we get into more of a northwesterly flow over the next few days, more of a westerly flow late tomorrow afternoon, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, more of a northwesterly flow. That will give us daytime highs in the 19 to 20 degree range, similar to today. So you will see one spike tomorrow, and that should uh, be just about it. It's going to be a warm night tonight as that frontal system eases into western Manitoba. Overnight lows tonight around 15 degrees. Here's your temperatures, and as you can see, very cool west of that front in Alberta. Nine degrees. Look at Regina, though. 32, 21 in Saskatoon. 16 degrees out in Vancouver, and cool to the north. Seven degrees up in Inuvik. Yellowknife is eight. 18 degrees. Thunder Bay, Toronto tonight is 21 as is Ottawa, Montreal, 22, and 20 degrees in Halifax, St. John's, New Brunswick, and in uh, Charlottetown, PEI, only 7 degrees at Labrador City. The Almanac for this afternoon has uh, the record high of 33.9 in 1972, the record low 0.0 .0 in 1892. Here's your normal high, 23.8, normal low 8.9, and the sun rose at 6.52 a.m., sets tonight at 28 minutes past 8. Yes, those days are really getting short. Back with the Pulse News exclusive seven-day forecast momentarily. Right now, your regional roundup. we have a tough standard to live up to. It's a standard of outstanding prices backed up by our lowest price guarantee. It's a high standard of knowledge combined with the best service in the industry. It's stocking quality merchandise with payment options that are consumer friendly. This is a standard we set for ourselves because at Leon's, when we see customers coming back, we know the hard work is paying off. Leon's, your furniture superstore. Quite simply, a store setting the standard. Indications are that cloud will dissipate overnight tonight, so here's the forecast in detail. Keeping that in mind, tonight we should see partly cloudy skies. The winds out of the south at 20 by morning. A few clouds around, but a warm morning, 15 degrees uh, the overnight low. The winds southeast to 30. Winds will be actually quite brisk in the afternoon, southeast 30 to 50, and a wind shift late tomorrow afternoon, as we'll see by 5 o'clock. Winds out of the west at 30 to 50, and a daytime high tomorrow, 29 degrees. And then it's going to drop down to uh, Wednesday morning of 9, and then a high of 22 on Wednesday. Thursday looks like this. We'll see sunshine, a high of 19, a low of 6, and on Friday, it'll be a partly cloudy day, a 40% chance of showers, 19 to 9. Saturday next looks like this, the start of the weekend, 21 and 11. Sunday will be mostly cloudy, a high of 21 and a low of 10. So as you can see, uh, one day of warm temperatures, then back to uh, slightly below normal values. Friends, have a good evening. Easy does it for now. That's the weather. Was brought to you by locally owned and operated Leon's Furniture Superstore. National buying power and selection from Brandon's largest furniture store. The Brandon Marlins tried to pull even with the Berto Blue Jays in the MSBL final. Could they do it? We'll tell you coming up next on Paul Sports.